Why the aliens don't do not arrive here? <laughs> they only cross with the spaceships. Yeah. They look what? No, oh, man. thank you. End of society. Welcome to the pod. Welcome to two Hasids in a pod. We're extremely, extremely very excited. Very excited, yeah. Came all the way to Jerusalem. We have a very special guest here, all the way nice. from Brazil. Toda <laughs> Wow. I, I, I like to get left wing left wing people angry. <laughs> Do you know how to do that? How you you do? open the door for your wife. You oh, give flowers to your girlfriend. The feminists, like they get that. crazy, you know? <laughs> you tell them, mm, what a nice smell you have, my wife. And the feminists, ah, how can you do that? Like, it, it, it's, it's, it's submission, you know? <laughs> Today's International Women's Day, so it's a... Yes, we're ready to start. <laughs> <laughs> and now is my third time. First time was very nice because, uh, because we had time. And no COVID. So yeah, and no COVID. <laughs> sure, yes. And uh, so we had the opportunity to go around, to know Jerusalem, to know technology about uh, water, defense. We visited uh, IAI, which uh, is your uh, airplane technology mm -hmm. public company. We we went to Knesset. We talked with the, the the speaker at that time. It was Yuli Elderstein really nice really nice uh, uh, congressman and it, we had the opportunity in 2016 to say to him sorry because brazil a couple of months ago our former president extreme left wing dilma rousseff just denied the credentials of danny dayan danny dayan was indicated by benjamin netanyahu to be ambassador in brazil so she refused that anyway danny dayan went to united states and uh, we stayed for more than one year and a half without Israeli ambassador in Brazil, which was a shame for us. But thanks God, now we are in a total different way. And that's why we are here. We are here looking forward to have some kind of medicines to bring back to Brazil to fight against the COVID. And if this is happening, it's because we are in a really different moment. The Jews were taken out of Israel 2,000 years ago and the destruction of the temple. And for 2,000 years, we weren't home. There was always a little bit of Jews here, but we weren't home. And now we're back, and we're back big, right? 70 yeah. years, thank God, it's a very powerful country for the size. And you know there is an important Brazilian in this history. Who? Tell us. Osvaldo Aranha. Ah, yeah. yeah the, foreign, <laughs> the foreign minister just said he, uh, he was Osvaldo Aranha. Can I? Who is we that? have time, huh? Yeah, go, go. Yeah, All please, right, please explain. Deep. I really admire Osvaldo Araya. He's a Brazilian, and uh, I'll tell his, his story before the creation of Israel. He was a uh, chancellor uh, of Brazil, and before that, he was the Brazilian ambassador in the U.S. During the 30s in Brazil, we had tough times because our president at that time, which was a dictatorship, he was in love with Hitler. Oh, no. <laughs> At that time, there was a thinking that maybe the best system would be a system where an uh, elite, few people decide for everybody. It, uh, it, it was seducing, you know, the government in Brazil at that time. And Osvaldo Aranha, or he's on the other way. He was fighting for the freedom. And he was very close of this dictatorship. And he was trying to say, no, Nazism is not that good, fascism is not good, you have U.S., U.S., you have a democracy, and so, okay, I'm going to send you to U.S. And before he arrived in U.S., do you know what Osvaldo Aranha made? He went to Italy to know uh, fascism, and Sydney, then yeah. German to know the Nazism. And then when he arrives in the United States, he starts to write letters to our president. His name is Getulio Vargas, the dictatorship saying how good is the system, how things work in the U.S. People preserve the freedom, the liberty, and is a very healthy, with nice quality life, society. Mm -hmm. Then, okay, when he came back to Brazil, he turned himself a uh, chancellor. And then, after all of that, during the 40s, he was the, the Brazilian diplomat who was chairman of the General Assembly of the United Nations. And they were discussing about the creation of Israel, you know, mm -hmm. a territory for those who were under persecution of the Nazis. You know the history better than me. But the thing is, in the beginning, Israel 
would never have his ter has he its territory. So what was Valdorea made? He suspended the session and went country by country to convince them to create the state of Israel. Wow. So when he had sure, after two days or three days, he got back the session and then start with the votation. Like, country A, how do you vote? And yes, country so B, he was how do you actually vote? The, yeah. he's the, he wasn't just a voter. No, he no, made sure. organizer. Yes. Wow. He worked behind the scenes for the creation. It was 47, and then 48, you have the Declaration for Independence, the war, and all that. All you know why? What, what motivates a person like that to, to seek for a home for Israel? He is a freedom lover, for sure, for sure. And uh, like maybe because he saw the dictatorship in Brazil, think that this is nothing, nothing good. He knows about the Nazis, about the persecution for sure. So maybe, you know, it's a kind heart. And uh, maybe after so much suffering, you people deserve not a new land, but go back to your land. This is very nice what you told about the Labour Party, left, extreme left-wing people as our former president Lula and then Dilma, you are talking about people that don't care about nothing. They just care about their target, about communism, about power. They don't care about anything else. If you talk then about uh, values as name, honor, honesty, they, they just don't care about that. It's this is so the left. It's so popular though. It's so popular amongst the youth, especially in universities. I, I see it with friends in in, in the US, in England, across the world, the younger generation, they think that socialism and communism really is cool. some solution. What yeah. are the dangers? What, first of all, why do they think that? Why is it so attractive? And what are the dangers if they don't ever get taken out of that, that mindset? First thing, young, young people are the target of the communists, whatever you call, socialists, Marxists, Bolivarians, whatever because uh, it's easy to, to talk something and they believe. Why? Because they don't have a clear picture of the world. They never paid a bill, any, any kind of bill, gas bill, you know, rent of the house. So it's, they, 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 they have a... It that way. <laughs> yeah. When you start to pay your own bills, then you say, okay, I'm not going to share my, my salary with no one because yeah. I have to pay my bills. Why am I going to not spend the money, I don't know, buying a car? because I have to give my money to other people that do not work. You know, yeah. some things try to start to make sense in your, in your mind. So uh, universities are the target, especially because they form all kinds of people. After university, you became a doctor, you became a lawyer, you became a politician, mm, syndicalist, so you know, you, you go everywhere. Out. Yes. And, uh, but in Brazil, I go back a little bit. Do you know a, a, a person Italian called Antonio Gramsci. Have you ever listened about him? No. No? All right. You know Karl Marx for sure. Yeah. yeah. I don't talk by the Brazilian government. I don't talk by my father. This is Eduardo Bolsonaro talking. But uh, I think it's, it's going to be some. I, I, I don't think it's going to be, to be that long. Trust how, me. How it will you... be a re really big party because you don't have idea. I don't know if you have idea the evangelicals, how they support the Jewish yeah. and how they admire Israel and your society. It's a very important thing. I, I know a lot of money comes to Israel, a lot of support, a lot of just good press and good, good um, loving care for the Jewish people comes from Brazil, from America, yeah. from all these communities. It's really, we appreciate it. We, yeah. we definitely recognize it and we see it. We feel it, yeah. There is a very funny thing. If you go to YouTube again and you see, tap there, Jair Bolsonaro arriving airport in Brazil, 2017, 2018, and you are going to see like a crowd waiting for Jair Bolsonaro. And then you have the Brazilian flag and sometimes the Israeli flag. Mm -hmm. ah. And they go, why are you from Israel? No, I'm Brazilian, but I like Israel. I do trust wow. in the Bible and everything. Man, this You're is so incredible. Cool. January 1st of 2019, it was the first time that we, that we had a, a prime minister from Israel in Brazil. It was Benjamin Netanyahu for the inauguration of my father. Uh -huh. And we are very proud about that. And, uh, you went to Copacabana as well. Yes, <laughs> playing football on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> Very bad soccer. <laughs> <laughs> but then we had in 2019, January, a very, very bad thing that it was, we say, Brumadinho tragedy. It was a mine 
that uh, the wall came down so you had tons and tons of uh, you know mug uh, mud, mud uh, yeah mud uh, and things iron everything it's it killed hundreds of people in brazil and uh, we asked the Israel for help, and you sent a little bit more than 100 soldiers from IDF to Brazil to help in the rescue and to find the bodies. And it was very nice. After that, yeah, in my committee, we approved uh, a paper uh, saying thank you for the IDF and for the Israeli government at that time. It was a, a hard working against those five or six left wing guys that do not support Israel. And then. Wait, to receive help or to say thank you? To say thank you. They don't want to say thank you. No, no, no. <laughs> they, they, they were, because in the beginning it was written for the government of Israel. And they said, no, this is with politician proposed because you like Benjamin Netanyahu. And I said, okay, we can change it for state of Israel if you prefer. No, this is very bad too because it's. Welcome to the pod. Welcome to Tuchas.